the hell was that noise? I'm on edge here. What the heck are those things? Are those alive? No, they're like statues, right? This is so nice. Why don't you just chill here, dude? And like, you know, live here. Is that me? Oh, it is following me. Someone's watching. <laughs>
So lighting the light I gave us that flash black. Flash back. Because uh you know, she was like, we can fix being afraid of the dark with a lighter. Surely this will run out. I don't know if there's going to be any jump scares or anything. Um, it didn't say this was a horror. I also don't know if there's going to be any combat. I don't know if we're going to fight or anything. I don't know if we can. Ooh, interact. Okay. Oh, that's hard to read. Oh, here we go. That's better. May 19, 1960. I'm afraid morale is continuing to decline. Some of the men are getting restless. I suspect some of them have realized that their Oba Lieutenant knows as little as they do. I understand that our mission is top secret, but we are possibly the best equipped unit in the entire German army and our purpose still remains a mystery to us. We are set on a veritable mountain of rifles, mortars, grenades, missiles, Geiger counters, and state-of-the-art machinery that has never been tested. We even have a cutting-edge communication system, yet no sign of incoming transmissions. When will we take the fight to the enemy? How do we put it down? Oh, with the right, right mouse button. It's the only thing we can interact with here. I think that's German. Let's have a quick look on the other side of the desk. Okay. Don't think we can crouch or anything. This lighter would be getting so hot. Good, we could find a torch. I'll put the lights on. Surveillance report. Date April 16, 1960. Location. Place in Germany, I think. Krakow. Coordinates. Reporting officer. Obergrenadier. Jörg Kessler. I was dispatched to level 00 at 0942 to patrol Hansch 061B, the northernmost entrance to the shelter. Upon arrival at the shelter door, I observed, as usual, that nothing had changed. The door was sealed, and I again encountered zero trespasses. That concludes my daily report, which, of course... No one ever bothers to read. This place isn't that dusty. What am I walking into? A oh, little box. What's that? Sounded like a person or something alive. Oh, look at this friggin' stairs, man. Oh, I think that was us. Okay. I pooped a little. We don't have an objective. Do we have a map or an inventory? No, we don't. So I have no idea what we're doing. Oh, is that a light? No. No, it's just telling us to go this way. Oh, I hope something doesn't grab us. Ah, well done. What was that? What happened? Is everything all right? Oh, we actually get to do something. Is the rotor, Mom? It fell. Is it broken? We can't take the generator without it. Don't worry. We should have a spare one somewhere. Mom? Who's this? It's no one. Do you understand? She's got funny no eyes, one. isn't she? Very bright. <laughs> Whoa, look at all those buttons. All lights. Is this going to turn the lights on? I hope so. I don't like walking around. Put the lights off. Well, I can't do anything with it. Wait. Some 
big teacups there. Come on, we've got to put the power on. Oh, there you go. We can kind of run. Um, which one do I press? Okay. Let's have a little look down here, shall we? What's down there? Those trains or something. Where is everybody? <laughs> Is that us breathing? I hope so. What's the button? I, I don't know the person's name. Why do we have to interact that way with everything? Ooh, what do we do here? Oh, we're just observing. So do that. <laughs> what do we do here? Oh, okay, we're looking the place this picture was taken. So yeah, we're on level zero. Gotta go fall down. Now oh, we can't go that way. That's fine. I don't know if we're gonna bump into anything. Like living things. Any kind of trouble. Yeah, they're trains. That's cool. <sighs> it's kind of cozy. What was, was that on the window? Oh, it's just dirt. That might be blood or something. It's flipping suitcases and stuff here. I read this? I mean, no, no, it's not letting me actually read it. I'm just looking at it. What's this stuff? Those cigarettes look not that old. Flip an egg. I have to, like, interact with everything. Ooh, we're gonna open this one suitcase. Why did he open it? Like there was gonna be something inside that was gonna jump out at him. Dear Grandma, you won't believe who's on the train with me, Greta Muller. You were just playing her record to me. She's so elegant. I wish I could talk to her, but she has her own car and no one's allowed inside. There's also a cartoonist from that newspaper you always read. Even drew a picture of the Fura Fura for me. But I think he made Goring look a little slimmer than he really is. It's an honor to be on the same train as so many talented people. I'm so sorry that I didn't get to say goodbye. They came when you were away and were so impatient and rude. Nothing like I imagined they'd be. But at least they promised to deliver this goodbye letter. 
hope this finds you well. I love you, Adela. I was it? It didn't get to her. That's sad. I assume it didn't get to her anyway, unless that's her suitcase. where the musicians, persons, cart will be, or cabin. Get up. To all colonists, you are advised that only one suitcase per person will be allowed in Gesellschaft, I think is how you say it. All additional belongings will be disposed of upon arrival. This rule will be enforced by the SS Race and Settlement Main Office. There will be no exceptions. That's fair, I suppose. Whoa, is that the door? It's a big door. Ooh, a teacup that I can have a look at. Why are we... Why are we looking at this teacup? That's, um... Strange. We've been really inspected to see if we can find anything more of it. This suitcase too. Why? Why can't I? Oh, there you go. Oh, I wasn't expecting the flash. I'm leaving. Do you hear me? And you're not going to stop me. That's a bit rude. I don't want to spend my whole life here. Mama. Mama, are you okay? Uh oh. Mama, shoe. Why did that trigger that? Oh, I guess because he was closing his suitcase. I wonder if we'll find her, unless she's actually dead. There's a lot of reading in this, I think. Mr. Barashuba, I'm writing to you because I have a favor to ask. I understand that it is no longer my place to intervene since all of my worldly assets are now legally yours, but I hope you will grant me this final favor in any case. I am sure that the first thing you are planning to do is cut down that beech tree stood in the yard. However, a family of blackbirds has built a nest there. Please make sure to relocate the nest before cutting down the tree. Yes, next time I should remember to buy a train ticket from someone who somewhat resembles me. We look nothing alike, not to mention your passport photograph. Alas, you were the only person I know of in all of Bavaria who was granted this ticket. So, he wasn't meant to be here. He bought it from someone. Spiritus. Can we... I don't think we can actually inspect it. Anyway. Oh, I can move it slightly. But I'm having to move my mouse a lot. This looks weird. What are you doing? Here we go. Interacting with the steps. It's quiet. Oh, it's a little laggy. Oh, we're just going to do a checkpoint. Because I just saved. Let's go around here, I think we have to go in here first. Okay, before we pull that lever, let's have a look around. Another letter. Dear Leopold, many times I prayed, please God, make me ignorant, make me blind to what is clearly in front of me. I'm just a simple machinist, doing what is asked of it. But in my heart, I always knew the day would come when I had to pay for all these years of looking the other way. What pains me even more is that now the day has finally come, and you're the one who must suffer the consequences, not me. Today, I lose a friend, and I 
can't help but wonder if it had to be this way. Maybe if I'd found the courage to question my orders, I'd have known this would be our final journey together. I salute you, my old friend. I am truly sorry that it had to end like this. Ooh, what's in that book? Drawings, but I can't read any of it. Let's pull this one first. here as well. I'm surprised all this stuff works if it's been here for a while. Okay. I'm guessing there's nothing else to do. Don't get caught on a table. God. Those big things. Just pillars. What the heck are those things? Are those alive? No, they're like statues, right? Uh oh. My bloody power cut out then, and I had to pause for a second. My screen just died. I had no idea what was going on. That is the one pro to having a laptop and not a desktop. The power cuts out, and you've got battery. We just walk over here. No? Oh, it's okay, we can go this way. What are those things? So they better not come to life. If you enjoy these sort of games, kind of the the chill relax walking simulator type things or adventure rpg go check out my twitch channel i play these sort of games live like fallout bioshock those sort of things where it's more adventure rpg stuff there's a link there'll be a link in the description and in the banner of my channel Like a tape recorder. I, I don't I don't speak that language. Oh she's praying. Still though. Don't know what you said. interact with this little teddy. Can we take it? It's like ours. I guess it's a universal one. Oh, 
Oh, are those flies? Come on, open the door. How close do I need to get? There you go. Yeah, you need to put that mask on. Hang on. Is this just a flashback? Must be. Is this where we were living? It's kind of cool, kind of cozy. Oh, was that our actual house? We had a bunker in the garage underneath. Your parents must have been well off. Okay, that seems kind of... Pointless. Get up the steps, kid. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, hang on. That looks like a mountain, but we're underground, right? It's like a big train station. This really does remind me of Metro. Don't know whether it was inspired by Metro because it's a an apocalypse game, post-apocalypse. Guessing the cause was a nuclear war. Flipping heck, the lights are on in here. This is so nice. Why don't you just chill here, dude, and like you know, live here? So comfy. We could play music. Oh my gosh, look at that lady's expression. Very strange. My dearest Anya and Bartek, while I was on the train, I couldn't stop thinking about your sad little faces. The tears you shed as you waved goodbye shattered your dear mother's heart. Just remember, this is not my first tour, and you know I always rush home to you, my little birds. This time, I will be forming in a very special place, and you can expect an amazing gift when I return. Or even better, you can write me what your dream presents would be, and I will do everything in my power to make it happen. Anya, please remember to take care of your little brother. We will see each other in no time. Love, Mommy. P.S. Remember, you can always play one of my records if you want to hear Mommy sing. But this is the singer that the girl was writing about. Ooh, look at all this alcohol. Oh, that's a weird color. Could take some of this, but I suppose we are a child. Oh, that's just music playing. Is it scripted or is it actually playing? Ooh, look at that jewel. Where are the bodies, though? Did they leave? That's a locket. Again, we couldn't really inspect or do anything with that. I guess that was a children, though. Hey, there's a safe. Ooh, a violin, some paintings. It'd be nice if we could, like, I don't know, just inspect it a little. Nice train. But where did she go? Some strange noises happening. Um, which way do we want to go? We check out. What's that? Should we check out down here? Oh, I don't know if we should. I don't know which way to go because I don't want to miss out on anything. I'm guessing this isn't going to work and then we're going to have to go the other way. Oh, no, I was wrong. Something friggin' moved then. Over there. What was it? Why is there notes everywhere? 
Edelweiss, much like a seed, we grow underground, in the fertile German soil. We will grow tall and bloom in July, just like an Edelweiss does. One little Edelweiss, my little Edelweiss. Beautiful, noble, and white. I so hope I said that right. Apologies to anyone if I, you know, did that completely wrong and you know it correctly. Wow, this place is really cool. It looks amazing. these noises I would not want to be down here by myself unarmed as a child in the dark why are we breathing so heavy I don't really know where I'm going we don't have a map or anything I've tried to press and you know M up a map, but we don't have anything. Try to hit and tab, nothing. Why does he open them like that? It's friggin' horrible. Again, what is this? Why can't we do anything? Oh, we took it. So we might have an inventory. Was it a key card? I can't view it. What are we going to do with it? Oh, it probably goes in here and lets us in. What is that noise? I think it's just debris falling. Yeah, I think it's a train ticket. Mm. Man, that's loud. Did it work? Ooh, and a pipe. Uh, okay, but we didn't do anything with it. Can we go in here now, please? Me no understand. Right, those noises really need to cut it out. The kid isn't helping. Oh, we walk so slow. Look at this. Are we going to open that suitcase and find another train ticket? I bet we are, and then that's going to be the right one. Don't open. Oh, he did it again. Oh, this is a note. A letter of invitation. Something Schmidt. We are pleased to announce that thanks to your extraordinary achievements in the field of motherhood, you have been invited to join Geselshaft. You, as well as other recipients of the Honor Cross of German Motherhood, recognized by the Bund Deutsche Mädel. I'm so bad are scheduled to join Geselshaft on May 19, 1960. Please bring your Ausweis with you, as this letter of invitation is not a valid entry ticket in itself. We are also reminded to review the official packing list provided by the SS race and settlement main office. Okay, so is that saying we need something other than the ticket? What was that? Oh, come on, kid. Pick up the pace. Oh. What's that telling us to do? 
gotta get stamped. Okay. The ticket's gotta get stamped. I think we go to the office over here then. Yeah, look. Looks like there's a stamp over here. Ah, we found it. The stamping machine. We're gonna get a memory now. Oh, no, we didn't. What the hell was that noise? I'm on edge here. Oh my god, stepping on that bit of snow that made me jump. It was so sudden. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, you loud poop head. We just go through here. How did that know we were coming? Oh, we're going straight to level four. That's convenient. trapped. I mean, I would be pretty scared too, being trapped in an elevator and underground. Whew. Wow, how long have we been here? What's the point in that? What? Yeah, yeah, we're level two. You don't need to interact with it that way. Look at those missiles. What are they doing down here? Sounds like a phone. It is. That was weird the way you pressed it. Hello. Okay. Let's go check this out though. Guidelines for operating submergence. Berlin, 1949. Since the Soviet Union remains our enemy and it is uncertain how long the USA will maintain neutrality, our priority must be A. Reducing large amounts of atomic weaponry B. Developing a method of deploying said weaponry at long distances If we are unable to complete either of these points and do not destroy the Reich's enemies, we must prepare for Plan B. That is, temporarily disabling the enemy with all available atomic weaponry, providing shelter to the Volk, and preparing them for the final battle. Here are its core elements. Finish work on Quell de Intelligence program as quickly as possible. Build a network of radiation-proof bunkers suitable for 15 plus years of inhabitation. 3. Prepare a tactical nuclear weapon. 4. Bear plans to evacuate the most valuable members of society. 5. Once the enemy encroaches on Reich soil, evacuate said citizens to the bunkers. 6. Attack the enemy with all available atomic weaponry, temporarily disabling them and safeguarding the area via radiation. 7. Train an 
a society of warriors in the bunkers who will perfect and produce new weaponry. 8. Return to the service and defeat the enemy once and for all. Hmm. Okay. Well, where is everyone then? Maybe they've gone back to the sur surface. Is that a camera? It's pointing the wrong way. The Oberst Hugo New for OKW Chief of Infantry Training. Dear Colonel, I have just received the proposed training guidelines for the National Guard of the Third Reich program, which is meant to prepare children for enlistment in the Volkswagen. I okay, I said that wrong. Their author is a certain Major Horst Koschik. I sincerely doubt said Major Koschik. Oh my gosh, I need to figure out a way to say these names. Maybe I'll show them. Major Cos has ever met a child. No one who has would add items such as loading bullets into a rifle to develop coordination to a program for five-year-olds. Bit weird. I firmly request that you reject the program and create a new one with the assistance of human development psychologists. They will be able to bring to bear expert knowledge of the mental and motor capabilities of children at various stages of development and unlike major cause will have some notion of what constitutes proper pedagogy i don't know what that says pedagogy why is that beeping This is just a drawing. What's said? Ein something. Tag and uh, something. What's this book? German. What's this for? Oh, this is just gonna probably be for advanced weaponry, isn't it? Quite cozy down here. Whoa. Why did that just turn on? It's weird. Hello? Why is there a big TV? Well, I obviously can't go through there because there's no interaction thing. There's one here, though. Acceptance speech of Professor Kurt Hartman, winner of the 25th Jubilee of the Third Reich Prize, delivered at the award ceremony on the, third, on the first 30, 1953, so the 30th of January. We have successfully created a computing machine whose processing power is at least 50,000 times greater than that of the American's ENIAC. Its construction employs newly discovered methods of neutral communication in the hippocampus sustained by faint electrical impulses and the activation of normally unused parts of the brain. Its interface allows it to simultaneously process and store information while using it to for process management. We predict an operational period of four years. After that, its processing power will start to decline, potentially threatening system stability. Hmm. I wonder if they succeeded. Well, clearly not. I mean, like, everyone seems to be. Is that me? Oh, it is following me. Someone's watching. What is this? Okay, I can't take it or anything. Haha! <laughs> yeah, 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 whoever it is is watching me. I guess it's whoever's left down here. I mean, this bit's nice. to follow this. Oh, and we got a checkpoint.
Hmm. Is anyone out there? Hello? Hi. What? Who's there? Hey, kid, calm down. There's no need to get upset. I'm not a kid. What do you want? Who says I want anything? You're the one who said hello. Who are you? I came here to look for things to scavenge, just like you. I mean, that's why you're here, right? Oh, you can tell me. No. I'm looking for someone. Um... Mm, I haven't seen anyone else here. But hey, I can help you with that. I'm in some sort of control center, so I've got a pretty good view of things. There are cameras, switches, and whatnot in here. I could help you find whoever it is you're looking for. What do you say? And what do you want in return? Just a small favor. Somehow I got myself locked in here. So I just need you to find the control room and get me out. You help me and I help you. That is called a quick pro quo. Oh, she was in the control center. Oh, I didn't know that. See? We can even learn from each other on the way. So, will you help me? Dobrze. I will help you. Tell me how. So, I have this map and I think I figured it out. We are on level two. Um, should be minus two if you ask me. Anyway, the room you're in is connected to a warehouse that leads to the forge. And that's where the control room should be. And that's where you are? That's right. Just come here and get me out before I completely lose my mind. Oh, as a gesture of goodwill, I even opened the door for you. Voila! So, I guess I should get going. Yep. Be careful out there. I... Did you want to say something? You won't hurt me, right? I wasn't planning to, but... Now you mention it... <laughs> Kidding. I'm not going anywhere, so if you see a microphone, you can say hi, or whatever. Okay, we just hit checkpoint, so I think I'm gonna stop here, because I've been playing for basically an hour, and I don't know where the next checkpoint will be, and we can't manually save. So if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, and subscribe if you're not already, and hit the notifications bell, and you'll see when the next part of this goes up. Catch you in a bit. Bye bye.